This is an ash tree, Fraxinus excelsior. It's one of the few native uh, plants um, that's in the olive family uh, that's found in Britain. Other examples being privet. Uh, it has uh, pinnate leaves, as you can see, that's some um, feathery leaves. It also has ash keys, which you might be able to see there, and it's currently obviously shedding its leaves. Because it's got feathery leaves, the ground cover is exposed to the sunlight more than it would be normally, allowing a lot more organisms to thrive in that situation compared to something like, for example, that Acer over there. Uh, can't really support as much because not so much light is getting through the canopy. The ash is called the ash because it has greyish wood. I don't know if you can see that, but it's sort of grey coloured. The keys can be pickled, used in salad and in sauces, and um, they fall to the ground and are blown along by the wind. It's hot and dry as far as herbalism is concerned. Now, because I never use or hardly ever use tree bark because I think it's unsustainable, um, I won't use ash. Uh, but it's still very important to me and to the ecology because of the way it supports things living on the ground. It's in the Lamialis, which is the mint order. And um, there's currently a problem in Britain to do with ash dieback, which is a sac fungus that kills uh, ash trees. Um, it's probably going to kill about 90% of the ash trees in this country in the next few years. Um, in Denmark, about 10% of them survived because they had a natural resistance. Now, another thing about ash is it grows in the floodplain. This is a floodplain. There are other ash trees that grow in chalk. And it, because it grows in the floodplain, uh, it will absorb a lot of water. It's, as a result, you are more likely to get flooding as a result of the ash trees dying back. They'll take about 140 years to recover and it's one of several threats to the ecosystem, including sudden oak death, which is to do with parasites that are new. Ash dieback disease uh, arose, as far as anyone can tell, in Poland in about the early 90s, and then spread across to Estonia and the Baltic states, and then eventually came over here. It's obviously being imported. There are a few precautions that you can take if you go to an ash wood or to a wood where there is ash, uh, one of which is that you shouldn't gather any firewood from that wood. Uh, you should avoid, um, you should clean everything. That includes dogs, pushchairs, shoes, in soapy water. Um, there will be a video on the Forestry Commission website which tells you how to recognize dieback and what to do about it and how to report it. Another thing about ash is that its leaf litter decomposes rapidly and therefore cycles st stuff back into the ecosystem quite fast and it has fantastic wood which is very efficient uh, a producer of wood and um, is very resilient and very strong and is used for wood tools and for structural wood and furniture.